Good morning, Miss Alona. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, Miss Alona, can you tell me about yourself? Yes, ma'am. My name is Alona Fernandez Muiko. I'm 22 years old, married. I have uh, two kids, two boys. Um, the oldest one is uh, nine years old, and the uh, second one is six years old. And I am only high school graduate, and I have also ex work experience before. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? Um, I, work, I want to work as a maid, ma'am, because I want to help my family and my kids to, their, to support their education. And also, I want to save money for them. Okay, why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Um, I choose Malaysia, ma'am, because uh, it's near here and Philippines and... Uh, also, at the same time, and also Malaysia is a beautiful country and have many other jobs. Okay, how are you qualified for this job? Um, I am qualified, ma'am, because I know that I am hardworking, I am honest, trustworthy, and kind, and also I am willing to learn. Okay, may I know what is your education level is? Yes, ma'am, uh, I am only a school graduate, ma'am. What is your recent working experience? My recent ex uh, work, uh, working experience, ma'am, is a uh, domestic helper. Okay. Have you worked abroad before? Yes, ma'am. Can you please uh, tell the place and how many years and months you work for? Um, I worked before in Doha, Qatar, since uh, 2014 to 2015. Um, month of uh, May until uh, December 2015. Okay, so one year and eight months. If we are yes, going to uh, calculate the date and the, I mean, the months and the year. Yes, ma'am. Okay, do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, I have, ma'am, in my own kid. Okay, it's... how about elder or older people? Do you have the experience? Uh, I don't have, ma'am, but I am willing. I am willing to learn to care uh, elderly people. Okay. Do you yes, have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. I can do uh, I can do cooking, ma'am, washing, babysitting, okay. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes. Okay. So I will just repeat the question. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. I'm willing to learn new skills. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. You are not working now, right, Alona? Yes, ma'am. I'm not working now, ma'am. Okay. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. I know how to cook, ma'am. Okay, so what sort of food can you cook? I can cook uh, Filipino food, ma'am, or uh, Arabic food. Okay. Uh, like Arabic, I guess, from Mediterranean. Okay, yeah. how about Filipino food that you can cook? I can cook also Filipino food, like uh, spicy, pastil, um, pinola, something like that, ma'am. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores like cooking, cleaning, ironing, and washing, which do you like most? Uh, I like to wash, ma'am, cleaning, and taking care of baby children. Okay. Ma if ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? Uh, my mother, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone or cell phone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone or cell phone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing or using your handphone and it's affected your work for four months, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you're not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you're not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? 
months. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years months. Can you describe for me your ethics or your attitude? Um, I am hardworking person, ma'am. I am honest, kind, polite. Okay. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Um, I can. I assure, ma'am, I, I can finish my contract in two years. Okay. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No. Do you have any history of sickness, example breast cancer or any other illness? No. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy or physical defect? No. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No. Do you smoke? No. Do you have any tattoo in your body? No. Do you take any prohibited drugs before? No. Have you undergone any operation or surgery? No. Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No. Are you allergic with any food? No. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Miss Alona, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members pass away, what will you do? Will you continue to work till finish your contract or you will go back? I will continue to work. Okay, so may I repeat, you will, uh, what will you do? I will continue my contract now. I will finish my contract. Good. Tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Um, I'm a security person. I have a more patient. I have a more patient. I have a more patient. I have a Okay, Miss Alona, what do you want to tell to your employer who's watching your video? Um, so my employer, mom, please uh, trust me because I am a working person, I'm honest, I'm kind, and I am Okay, thank you very much, Miss Alona. We will update your agency if there's any selection made by the employer. Thank you, ma'am. Okay.